Here's a virtual commencement ceremony with a super creative twist. Take a look. Weeks ago, UC Berkeley students created an online simulation of their university in the video game Minecraft. They called it UC Blockly. I love them walking across the stage. Well, their efforts paid off yesterday when those graduating seniors got the chance to cross the stage and accept their diplomas virtually. The avatars, as you can see, of the grads, the chancellor, and others attended the somewhat traditional ceremony, cap, gown, and all, even flinging it off at the end with 13,000 others watching online. So creative, Steve. But they weren't social distancing. I guess we'll give them a pass this time. <laughs> We're now several weeks into the stay at home order and while some things are slowly reopening, many of us are still spending most of our days inside our home. So what have you been doing to keep yourself entertained? We want to hear from you in just a minute, but for many that answer is, as we just saw a perfect example, video games. News 8's Tim Blodgett explains why so many more people are picking up controllers than ever before. During the quarantine, more people are playing video games than ever. But do more gamers really equal more dollars for San Diego gaming businesses? I find out. When you can't leave your home, there's always been something I've turned to to pass the never-ending boredom of the lockdown. I love video games, old and new. Oh, we're getting ambushed. It's also the only way I get to hang out with my friend Josh anymore. We have like this whole community that you can like reach out to and just like the push of a button. It's beautiful. There are lots of people playing video games right now, and for the manufacturers, business is booming. According to the NPD group, video game sales reached a record 10.86 billion in the first quarter. That's up 9% from this time last year. Video games are a hot item right now, definitely. So how is this boom affecting local gaming companies in San Diego? Treg Derry is the owner of Luna Video Games in La Mesa, who specializes in selling vintage games and consoles. While they've been doing okay with curbside pickup, they haven't been able to capitalize, simply for the reason no one can come in. It is what it is, and everyone is taking a loss, and you know, we're trying to make be positive about it and stuff like that, and we're gonna make it through, so we're happy with Don't that. Get the pick, Sky's not looking for it. He'll get the spray down. They got it down. What a play. I would say that it has really taken off. Um, you know, traditional sports are obviously shut down right now. So again, online viewership is going through the roof. And while baseball and basketball are canceled, eSports has never been bigger. You just killed me. Yeah. <laughs> Though Agregati Siegel of GameSync Gaming Center shut down his Kearney Mesa eSports lounge in March, he took the leap and started hosting online video game tournaments to supplement his income. We had a tournament last Tuesday that drew 12 teams of five players each. We expect to have thousands of people participating in our events. Siegel says he's gotten big profits by streaming gaming competitions around the world. I would expect that over time, we'll be able to support our business even if the physical location was closed. And while Luna Video Games opens its doors Monday with new COVID rules and online games and streaming continues to post record numbers, the lockdown is putting more controllers in the hands of gamers everywhere, busting the boredom of the lockdown. It's the only thing that makes it feel any better, you know? It's like a sense of normalcy in the world. Tim Blodgett, News 8. And that brings us to our poll for tonight. What do you find yourself doing more of during the stay-at-home order? Maybe you're a gamer or you're really getting into all those books you've had just building up. Or maybe you're finally getting around to binge watching your favorite show. Or maybe you're doing something else. In our house, Marcella, we're doing a lot of puzzles. I think I bet you guys are too. Yes. All right, so here's the we thing. We do puzzles if you, too, and I know we are also trying new recipes, which I know you and your family do <laughs> yes. theme nights, which is so cool. But I think getting the whole family involved in cooking and the cleaning has been really important. And I bet a lot of people are choosing all of the above because really there's a lot of time at home to do a little bit of everything. All right, so if you're into doing another activity, I want to know what that other activity is. Go to my Instagram, Steve Price TV. I posted up the poll on there and then just put a comment in there about what you're doing if you voted other already. We've gotten uh, golfing as something that folks are doing. We finally have a chance to go ahead and do that again. And then other people said, I'm actually doing a, a combination of those things. I'm reading and I'm binge watching um, or I'm doing gaming and I'm, and I'm reading. So want to know what you're doing out there to vote. Go to CBS8.com slash vote or scroll down to the vote tab and the News 8 app.
We will check in on our results a little later on. But Marcel and I apparently eating a lot of cookies and uh, brownies, <laughs> cake. <laughs> and some veggies too. We're <laughs> grilling vegetables also in addition. It's all about balance. But yeah, I think Steve, you're right. The comments you're getting about other, I mean, I think everyone's just kind of doing everything. I know I was out gardening today and yes. we're all just kind of trying to find ways to be useful and involve the, the family and pass the time. And, and we're so lucky to live in San Diego because we can do it all under this gorgeous weather. That is true.